It is time to suit up, Minties, and you know what that means. That's right, we got some breaking news in the world of the Marvel Omnibus Editions. So, let's do this. And welcome back, everybody. This episode is sponsored by Marvel Comics, so thank you to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us advance notice of this brand new Omnibus. This is a volume one of a new line, and I say new line because yeah, if it sells well, I'm sure we'll have more, and that's what we want. We want more of these books. Um, so go ahead and hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed, this is where you get your breaking news as far as the world of Marvel Collected Editions. So go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button uh, because it does help with our YouTube algorithm and it helps our channel grow. Um, don't forget to share the video too. Let everybody know what this new line is. So I'm excited to talk about this one because uh, David was in the chat uh, about a month or maybe two months ago and he somebody was asking. So one of you all was commenting, throwing ideas, and he I remember him thinking, huh, Sounds like a pretty good idea. Yeah, we'll probably do that one day. Like he, I'm sure he had already thought of it, but uh, maybe you reminded him. So thank you for being in the chat for when I do those live chats. So what are we talking about? Well, this uh, particular omnibus comes out in August of 2021. And it's been released before in classic edition. I think there were classic trade paperbacks. There were complete collections released um, in the last couple of years. So without further ado, of course, I'm going to be talking about a book that we have a TV show, so you knew, I'm sure most of you knew this was coming, then this is the What If, the original Marvel series Omnibus Volume 1. This is the classic stuff, so this is the stuff uh, from the What If series back that started in 1977. Uh, what If has had a couple of series since then, but I do want to clarify that this is the classic 1977 stuff, and the first cover we're going to be looking at is the standard edition cover by George Perez and... Joe Sinat. But we're not just having two covers because usually we have a standard edition cover and then we have a direct market cover. We have two direct market covers to look at. But this is the very first one. Uh, this is the standard edition cover. And let's look at the content and we'll show the other two covers as I talk about the content. And of course, I'll put the content down here. Um, and this collects the classic What If stories from What If 1 through 15 and 17 through 22. So if I were a betting man, if this sells well, you're probably going to be getting an Omnibus Volume 2 to wrap up that original classic series. So before we talk about what kind of stories are going to be in here, What If, what it's about, let's look at the first direct market cover and that is the cover to issue 11 here drawn by jack the king kirby so jack kirby is the cover artist on this first direct market cover the other one is really cool too um but so we're talking stories about alternate realities and what's interesting and i always say this when i'm uh, talking about these books when i do overviews of them or whatever i'm reviewing them seems like a lot of these stories have already happened because these what if stories happened in the 70s. So for example, like what if Spider-Man had joined the Fantastic Four? It's happened already. What if Conan was walking uh, around in modern time? Kind of happened already, right? So it's interesting to go back and read this classic stuff. And of course, we have a new TV show that's going to be borrowing elements of a lot of these stories. But in here, you're going to get what if Jane Foster uh, finds the Hammer of Thor. That's actually the first appearance of the first legit appearance, actually, of Jane Foster as Thor. Uh, and what if the Avengers assembled in the 1950s? What if Doctor Strange was evil and was the disciple of Dormammu? So stories like that. Oh, one of my favorite ones is what if Peter Parker had stopped the burglar from killing Uncle Ben. So there's a lot of really good stories about possible realities. And that's what the new TV show is going to be. None of this is in continuity or in the 616 universe, but it does add to the wonderful mythos that we already have of Marvel characters. Now let's look at this final cover. This is also available through the direct market uh, only, and it is by John, Big John Buscema. It is this wonderful cover right here to issue number 10. I love this cover. I This is the one that I want. This is beautiful. I'm, I'm so happy that they went with this one as one of the covers because I'm sure they, they were fighting as to which one was going to be the direct market cover. And then they made the decision, you know what, let's just make two direct market covers and use the Jane Foster had found the Hammer of Thor story as the direct market cover. 
Again, this book comes out in August of 2021 of these possible realities that you're infinite realities that are out there that are known as the what if realities. So I'm excited for this one. This is the classic stuff. Hopefully it sells well enough that we'll get a volume two and then we can get some of the 90s stuff that I grew up with. And I think there was a mini, there was a short lived series too in the 80s, but the 90s stuff is the stuff that I remembered. There were so many classic X-Men stories in there. Um, they never ended well. That's what I remember the most about these what-if stories. But anyway, if you've never read it, these are a lot of fun, and this is the stuff that kicked it off. So very happy to announce it. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to pick this up, which cover you're most intrigued by, which one you're going to get, and yeah, what you think of this series. Hopefully, like I said, if it sells enough, we'll get a volume two, and maybe some other stories. So please don't forget to hit that like button and ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. If you are subscribed, and if you haven't subscribed yet, Go ahead and subscribe. Welcome to the club. Again, thank you to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us advance notice of this omnibus. So, that's it. Go back to your daily routine and come back because I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Thank you all for watching and everybody, please stay healthy, stay safe out there, and much love.